Jeremiah the alien robot android thing again and today for you I have a very amusing story to tell. The story is about the logic of young adults who are trying to turn the blame onto you as to why they come to bully and harass you in your own property. Once upon a time I was minding my own business in my garden on a beautiful summer's day when a gang of older teenagers came along and started pulling my lock gates back and forth. They were about to continue past when a woman caught their attention and they turned back around and stayed into view on the street near my wall. Because of this one of the girl things spotted me and started going on with herself riling the others up. They started sprinting toward my wall and started shouting threats and calling me names and so I went by the side of my house to avoid them because I don't quite like being treated as an attraction in my own garden. They kept calling me to come to where they were and then started climbing. Over the wall into my garden and they kept godding me coming in closer to my house. Eventually I decided this can't continue so I walked towards them calmly with my camera phone on record to deter them out of my property. Here is where the hilarity started. They started accusing me of chasing them because apparently this is not a property, it is just an abandoned place and so they have every right to be in there. They said they should be able to come into my garden without being scared. I told them it is not an abandoned place, this is indeed my private property. I mean come on, there is a dock off big massive house right smack in the middle of the garden with a wall surrounding it and gets that are locked with a drive leading up to said house. You're not telling me they really thought this wasn't a house and garden? They didn't say sorry we didn't know, no, they insisted that it was not a property even though I surely should know as I live here. They said it can't possibly be. Because, and I quote, there are trees in it. So apparently it can't be a private property and garden if it has trees in it. Right. That makes sense. I told this to my mother and she laughed and said that she will have to phone up the council to inform them that we are not a property because we have trees on our land so they must stop taxing us. Logic of kids these days. There is more. Apparently I chased them on the streets even though I have been in my property the remainder of this. Very amusing interaction. I don't think they realize how stupid they sound. I actually love these kids just because they are source of amusement and show themselves up as complidiots and they seriously had the nerve to say that I was amusing. I love how they blamed me for chasing them and filming them when they are the ones who came to me and started threatening me and coming on my property to harass me. I told them I filmed them because they were the ones who came to me. They literally told. Me to come to them. Threatening me to come to them or they will break my back or some shit and when I come to them they complain and blame me for coming to them. I came to them only to get them away. If they don't want me to do this then they should just leave or not come to my house in the first place. They are the ones who walked by, jangled my gates, called me and then came in over my wall. How then can they complain about me being there and following them and accusing me of scaring them? If they don't like the way I look, the way I dress, the way I act, 
me chasing them out of my own property and filming them then they should piss off and leave me the hell alone. Again there is no logic. Logic down not reign in the minds of children. Yet by their own admission they are 18 and 19. Too old to be acting like immature thugs like this. Do they not have parents? They claim to come from normal households and claim me to be the freak because I mind my own business doing my own thing. They did start going on about the way I dress and look and I'm all like what the hell does that have to do with you and how does it affect you? I'd like to know, but when I ask, they keep insisting that they had a problem with me because I chase them and film them. Even when they were being nice they acted condescending to me when I'm a grown-ass adult. They asked my gender identity and mocked that. They asked my sexuality and mocked that too, yet one of them said they were the same. I doubt it. 